Welcome to Living Light in Toronto. I'm your host, Leanna Rico, and today I have... Andrew, hello, I'm Andrew. I'm Kwasi. Kofi right here. I'm Kabla. And the group name is The Seattle. Yeah, you Meaning, all is good. So that kind of built up with us. So we didn't really get into it. We grew up with it. So that's how we started the group. Because we came here and we couldn't like really get into a like community group. So we had to make our own community, and we did. Where did you come from? Oh, uh, we we come from Ghana okay. in the West Africa, West Africa in the Volta region, Dagmate, yeah. and uh, yeah, it's the most amazing village ever. That's awesome. And when did you guys come to Canada? Uh, we came around September 2008. Some of us came around September. He came in October, and he came in January 2009. So where did where did the love of passion and music come from? Everybody has a love of music or the passion of music in them. It just depends on how to bring it out. Okay. So someone might be like, "Oh, I'm, I don't know how to dance. I don't know how to sing. I don't know how to do this." That is not shit. Everybody has it. It's just how to get it to come out. We've noticed our passion long before other people have, or we started no noticing our passion a long time ago. So it just grew and it just kept getting bigger. Nice. So basically that's how it happened and um, it's still getting bigger, we're still loving it. We grew up in music back home. We play music when we're happy to celebrate the happiness. And we also play at the same time, we also play music when we're sad to make us happy. 
So in the community, everybody, even if it's funeral, party, outdoors, or whatever, I would do is drumming and dancing. Whatever we do back in Ghana, it's all about music. Everything, everyone cooking or whatever, they still sing, they still do everything. That makes it great, and you love it. So is that what you're trying to bring out when you guys are doing your performances? What are you trying to, um, like, what are you trying to change? Are you trying to influence people? It's not really an influence, right? Because music, it's something that is really special and everybody has it in them. It's just, you have to find a way to bring it out. It's like a box that is closed and it's dust, dusty. You have to wipe the dust off, find the keys and open it. And when that spark comes out, it's just happiness all day. You don't know where the happiness comes from, but you just feel happy. Because music is a spirit that is filled with happiness. Happiness makes up music. Music doesn't make happiness. So with that kind of spirit going through you, it kind of builds up the happiness. Then you get to know each other. Like say you go to a party, a club, that, and they're playing music. You get to talk to people more than in the subway where there's like just random people that you kind of get scared. Because soul music is like a connecting spirit yeah. thing. And what kind of preparation do you guys put into these performances that you have? We start at since work every single day. Like, there was never no day that we've never seen music. Like we haven't played music every time we work up. We have the drum in front of us. Even if you don't play, it, you hear people playing it around you. Right. So whatever you do, you can't say you can't run away from music. Back then, you can never run away from music. And even here, like a day when I don't go, when I don't play music for a day, or I or I don't go to my machines for a day, I feel like uh, I don't know the world is ended. So we are planning to just. Bring everything together in general. Though we do our African stuff, we should do, we still do everything like hip hop and everything that comes. Though we love our Africa, we still have our genders, we have our powerful drums and everything. But that's the love. Yeah, it's just the yeah, love for music. Really yeah. About the practice, but we practice a lot. Yeah. Sometimes we play at home just for fun. That's good. We play it for fun. On our legs, mostly. On the legs, table. Like. We are York University, right? We volunteer teaching at York University, okay. drumming and dancing. So we go teach the student drumming, dancing, and singing African drumming. We That's do the great. same thing at U of T and some of the TDSB schools too. That's awesome. That's so really we good. have practice every day. That's every day. You're constantly involved yeah. in And we guess we teach uh, the kids from Africa and those who were born here. Uh, we, even perform at, we even perform at parties and all those stuff. Yeah. Recently, like, we, we were invited by this group that we joined. And we perform with them, do a lot of performances, so it's everyday practice, let's say. What kind of projects are you guys a part of? Yeah, the two is, um, do you see the four of us? They were the main people. We brought up the group and the whole stuff, but we still have other people. We're like, that's a lot of people. We're over 15, we have 10 people. Like, it depends on the show. If the show is a big show, this one we didn't come with dancers or drummers. Do some of our dance. This one's just gonna be drumming and having fun mm -hmm. today. But we still have the drum. We have the dancers, the drummers, the singers. Because back in Africa, when we talk about music, music is um, comprises of three things. Like we're talking about singing, dancing, and drumming. They come together to form music. You can drum and not sing and not dance. It's still music, but it's not full music. It's just like you're doing the half thing. You sing, you drum, and dance. We teach a lot of people. So okay. we take people from universities, like TDSB schools and all stuff. And my dad is a professional master drummer himself. Oh, okay. And he teaches at York University, and he's a professor at York and U of T. So we go and see him for him when he's not around. So when we need like when we need 15 people today to do a show for tomorrow, we can just get it because we have a lot of people that have talked. So we just have we have That's their great. contacts and we just call them. All right, we need eight dancers. We need this. We need this, and that's up. And if it's a small show, and we know we can do it. We just do it. Okay. So we just bring the people together. It doesn't really matter even if they're Chinese, Togolese, American. Just we just everybody, everyone. So you're talking about doing shows. Have you guys worked on any films or videos, or is it just mainly um, performance shows? Um, actually, for me, uh, I'm a producer. Okay. I went to Trevor's Institute, and what I do is music, and I even own my own record label called the World Premier Production, and I have, um, I have about five to six artists under me right now, and um, yeah, so what we do, and I still work on movies, so that's what I do, Peppers, music and movie. I'm working on this new movie that my big boss is bringing out, Tyrone, and it's called My Three Angels. 
and it's very big. It's a very, very good movie, inspirational, and you have to watch it when it comes out. I don't have to talk about it. It's just like blowing my own horn, you know? But, mm -hmm. And uh, we're working on a song for, a uh, one song for the movie right now, just for promotional purposes, and it's pretty good world. Like, we're working for the high, you know? Mm -hmm. It's just the idea, my boss bring the idea, I bring my idea, everybody bring this idea, we join it together, African drum, the Westerners, we join everything, still drum, anything that comes in mind. We don't have to do a pure African, pure whatever it is, but we just try whatever we see that's going to fit and suit the music. That's what we join to it. We don't say, okay, today we're making hip hop, so it's all got to be hip hop band or hip hop this. Now, if you feel like Jamba is going to be good, it's going it's to sound good in this music, just join it to it. That's what we call music. You don't have to focus on one thing and now your mind will be on one genre. That's not it. You have to travel and see, you have to move around. Because our genres of music are very important. So, and uh, actually, I'm actually working on another movie called The Homeless Man. It's a horror movie, actually. I'm doing the summer under it, and uh, it's going to put it all by the end of this year. It's going to come out as an independent movie, but I bet you it's a very good movie, too. And do you guys all work together and collaborate on these um, different films? I actually, I mean, I, I love dancing. Mm -hmm. I dance like in, in shows, in school shows, you know. Then we go out, out to like, we have this company uh, group. We call we call the Street Kings, Creek Street Kings. We go around, uh, we cramp in, at places, we, we cramp at shows. I go dancing at shows, it's like, so I get called by my friends a lot to come dance and stuff, because I, I kind of love what I do. That's good. It, it's, is this something that I don't know? I don't feel like I'm really a, I'm really a good dancer, but the way I love it, it kind of brings people close to me because they know they can connect to me and see how like how I move my movements, mm -hmm. kind of draw them closer. So it makes them feel like I'm a really good dancer. But to me, I don't feel like that. so because so, that's you love it, that's, okay. that's yeah. how <laughs> it's all that matters. Right? So the reason why it's it's like love is the only thing that draws people close because if you don't like something and you're doing it it won't show in your movements yeah. so with that love it kind of draws people to you so it's you're gonna think oh i'm, I'm like oh i'm really good this guy's better than me but why do people love me more because he does he just thinks of what he's doing he doesn't do what he do mm -hmm. he thinks of what he's doing you just do what you do follow the rhythm your body will lead you to where you want to go and people are going to love that. Yeah. So that is how we we go into our things and we branch out into things that we love to do. Yeah. But I have all of us have different talent, like this guy is into hip hop and all those stuff. So he has his own talent, this guy loves dancing and all those stuff. He's also talented, this guy also loves dancing. I love singing to making songs like Hip Life, which is a Ghanaian music stuff and hip hop. So like, that is like our talent, but they said a new group, it's purposely for like African drumming and dancing. So that's what we do with the Desiado New Group. We go performing with Africa. What is Africa? And right. what is about Africa? That's what we tell people. What Africa is about Ghana is about how it is, how the songs bring us together, the music bring us together. I would tell you, you can go to a party and you see like people singing and dancing and someone will be sitting quiet and be like this. It's going to pull you. No one before you realize it's like, like oh, 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 oh yeah. we going to <laughs> and we don't we don't tell you that oh, this is how African people like. We don't tell you by speech. We tell you by movements. So when we move in, you're like, oh, I want to join it, and we start, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Then you see also get fused into it. It's just awesome. Okay. You not go there and be like, oh, I can't dance. Before you realize, you even dance, and I'm like, how did I do that? So I see. Uh, yeah. That's how my dances. You know, I've worked with a lot of artists, like both life and all stuff. Like some people come, our friends. Like last year, I and Kofi went on a tour with these professional acrobats from US, and it was, a, it was a pretty good tour. Like they came, they came, they don't sing or whatever. They were so, oh, many more. Um, the name is Money. So many more. We don't sing, man. But I want to record them. Like yeah, everybody can sing. Let's just try something. It's like oh no, no, I'm not gonna do this. I don't want to. Like, so I have to convince this guy, like, keep convincing this guy. Though it's not like, he, I know he's not paying me at that moment, no. But I wanted to show him, like, everything is possible. You just got to focus on it. Just do it. And you you will do it. So I just told him, I convinced him, and I said, I made the beat. And I made sure the beat I made was, like, an African stuff. Because they were from Kenya, so I know they'll surely love the African stuff. 
when I did it, like the guy sung and it was very awesome. Like she's like, yo, many more, this is great. I'm like, yeah, you know, you can do it. If somebody can do it, you can also do it because it's somebody. So that's all you gotta do. Just focus on what you gotta do, just do it. Then you go forward and just do what you gotta do. And that makes you who you are. You gotta be able to accept defeat in your life. Always try to be the first, but if you're not, it's all good. Everything comes for a reason. Just go ahead. Don't give up. Just continue and you'll be okay. Now, there is a proverb back home in Ghana that says that like, one man's food is another man's poison, right? Someone may love hip hop, someone hates hip hop. Someone love pops, someone love hip hop. Mm-hmm. So it's not like every music, the like I music. do my music, everyone is going to love it. Someone yeah. may like it, someone may hate it. But come on, you love it. But if it's what you love, that's what, what you love, that's what you have to do. If you want to keep on like listening to those discouraging you, then you can make it. So you have to like follow your passion, what you love, and go ahead. Do you want to continue on with different films or um, make your group larger? Or is it something that you're looking forward to in the future? Yeah, actually. Oh, don't even like it. No, no, go ahead. Basically, basically what it is is that um, you asked, yes, pretty good question. What basically the, your question is what's your aim? Right. What is your goal in the future? Right. In the future, we're going to be hosting more shows, we're going to be performing big, big, big events, we're going to be getting involved into movies. And honestly, he loves movies, I love acting. So, as they said, right, we all have we all love music, right? We all, but we all have our own different talents, I said, as yeah, different talents. So, with all these little things put together, we're aiming really high. It might start really, it might start really small right now, and I'm always gonna use the mentor, my dad, as an example. He started from here, and now he might not be the highest, but where he's gotten so far from where he started is a really, really good achievement. So it's just like that. Everything starts, every long journey starts with a single step. Exactly. So we're just gonna keep going, and we're hoping, and we're praying. And you know what? It's not all about hoping and praying. We're gonna put action into it, and we're gonna make sure that hey. We go further and we're gonna do it. It's gonna be really nice. People should look out look out for it because honestly we're gonna come and we're gonna come big. I Not just it. come little but come big. I I come it. Go.
joining me tonight uh, with Living Light in Toronto. I'm your host, Leanna Rico, and... Happy holidays from the Saturday and future hour. Yeah. <laughs> 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 what did you do? I said future hour. <laughs> 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 Happy holidays from the Saturday and future hour. <laughs>